Hey everybody, welcome back to Great Lakes Junction. We are in the kitchen today and we are gonna be canning up some sweet cucumber relish. One of my all time favorite recipes to can. I absolutely love it throughout the whole entire year. Um, just for hamburgers and hot dogs and sausages and anything else that you might want to put it on. Um, the recipe comes from the Amish canning cookbook. It's one of my favorite recipes out of this book. And as you can see, I have a ton of tabs here. This is one of my favorite books to can out of. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get yourself a copy if you don't have one. I just grabbed it off of Amazon. And I use that more than I use any other book that I have. So you'll have to give it a try. With all that said, let's get to it. So I'm sure you noticed my cucumbers are huge. <laughs> they got away from me in the garden, but does, that doesn't really matter how big they are for this recipe. Just make sure whatever kind of cucumber you're using to de-seed them and clean them up. You can leave the skins on. I've cut some of the skins off mine just because once they get this big, the skins can get a little tough. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to de-seed these and then we are going to put them through a shredder and shred them. Um, I use a fine shredder. You can use a coarse one if you'd like, or you could actually top, chop these and uh, do it that way. And I'm just going to shred everything, my onions, my peppers, and the cucumbers. I have here's the recipe I'm not going to put it down in the description below um, grab a pen and a paper and jot it down as I go um, I have 12 cups of cucumber shredded or you can do a fine chop whatever the texture you like best I have three cups of green and you should have red pepper I have orange I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. And one cup of shredded onion, three quarters of a cup of salt. I know that sounds like a lot, but this is to pull all the liquid out of the vegetables. So we're gonna leave this sit for four hours. And I have four cups of ice water that I'm gonna put in here. We're going to stir it up and we're going to let it sit for four hours and pull all that water out of it. So just give this a thorough mix and make sure the water and the salt are mixed together and um, the salt will dissolve after a while. Just distribute your ice cubes a little bit and that's it. I'm just going to put a lid on this and let it sit for the four hours and we'll be back then. Um, I stirred it a couple of times just to make sure that the salt was through it and it was actually pulling liquid out and it, it has worked great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rinse this off and get all that salty water off of it and I'm gonna put another four cups of ice water in here um, and let it soak for another hour and then we are going to squeeze it out. So now we have all of our vegetables um, sitting in clear water again uh, with ice just to rinse that salt off and we're going to get our brine ready that goes in with it and we need six cups of five percent acid vinegar. And we need two cups of sugar. And if you have a spice bag, now would be a great time to use it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a coffee filter. So we have four teaspoons each of turmeric. And 
and four teaspoons of whole allspice. I have it powdered, so I'm just gonna use it that way. We have four teaspoons of clove, whole clove, and four teaspoons of mustard seed. And that is it for the spices. Now I'm just gonna fold this up and make a little bag out of it. Once our vegetables have been sitting for their hour and we've drained them off, um, we'll bring this to a boil with our spice pouch in there and um, let the spices come out in the vinegar. So our hour is up for um, rinsing and letting this soak in the clear water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain it off and then our vinegar and sugar mixture, I'm going to turn it on and bring it up to a boil. When you're draining this, make sure you squeeze it out the best you can and get all of that water out of there. Okay, so we have our veggies all squeezed out. Um, so they are very dry and our brine has just finished boiling. So we are going to dump it in here. And I took the spice bag out. And you can just dispose of that. And we're gonna mix this up. Now, with this recipe, now that you're at this point, it needs to be cool and put in the fridge for 24 hours before you can it. I would do 18 to 24 hours. You don't need to go full 24. Um, I do believe the last batch, I tried it at um, 18 hours and it was just fine. So we'll be back tomorrow and we'll can this up. Hey, it's the next day and this has sat for 22 hours in the fridge. So I've just put it on the stove on a low setting to get it warmed up and we're gonna bring it to a boil. While that's happening, I got my pressure canner out. We're only gonna be water bathing though. Filled it up with my jars so they can sterilize while we are heating up and boiling our relish. We have our jars all sterilized. Our relish has been boiled, so it's steaming hot. And we're gonna fill these jars. We're gonna leave a half inch head space. We're gonna make sure that um, everything stays warm. Our, I left my canner turned on, so it's still very hot and it's actually almost boiling. And I have a few extra jars in there just in case. This recipe calls for nine pints. So we'll see how much we get out of it. I usually do um, these half pints. They work better for us because you don't use a ton of relish all at once. And if you get enough out of this batch, it's always nice to um, sometimes give them away as gifts as well. So all those, all those are wiped down. All I'm gonna do is put the lids on Screw the tops down. Ooh, so it's hot. I've been having problems with these lids sealing for a while now, and unfortunately, I had probably 300 of them 
in my pantry waiting to be used. So I'm getting to the end of them and I can switch over to something else. So I'm going to finish these up and I will be right back. Okay, our jars are all in there. Um, make sure you have at least an inch or two of water over the tops of the jars. I'm going to can this in my area. I'm canning it for 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes has ended. Our alarm just went off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off and then I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes just to come down from that boil and uh, just to cool off a little bit before we start taking them out. There's our first jar. They look absolutely gorgeous. Um, mine are a little bit paler color. If you don't peel your cucumbers, it will turn a bit more green. I peeled mine because those skins were a little bit tough on mine because my cucumbers were overgrown. So we're going to let these sit and cool and hopefully we get a seal on all of them. And tomorrow after they've cooled off, um, I will wash them, label them and we will put them on our shelves something else too when you're taking them out of the canner try not to tilt them because they aren't sealed when they come out and any liquid could actually tip out and ruin your seal so try not to tilt i had a bad habit of doing that when i first started canning so so we've got 12 half pints and one little stubby quarter pint that's not bad that will do us a year. Um, I actually have one jar left from last year and the recipe calls for nine pints so we should have had 18 but the, again those cucumbers were a bit on the older side and they had a lot of seeds in them that I had to remove too so and that there was a ton of water that came out of it when I uh, soaked it. Hopefully you like that recipe. If you did, hit that thumbs up for me. And to all the new subscribers I see out there, welcome aboard. Glad to have you along with us. If you're not subscribing yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified of the next video coming up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to get to everybody that leaves me a question or a comment. And until next time, stay safe.